Welcome. My name's Eileen Durfee, and I'd like to present the sauna fix system for portable hot yoga. The light bulbs emit near infrared rays. Now initially we started out with a portable near infrared sauna. And I wanted to explain a little history about the different types of saunas. Originally it was a tent with rocks that people poured water over. The purpose of the water was to generate negative ions. Then we went to built-in saunas with heaters and in Europe. They rated the benefits of a sauna based on how many negative ions it would produce. They always want to have at least 20,000 units per cubic centimeter, which is about the size of a sugar cube. And so that actually activates the sweat. It'll double your sweat volume in a sauna. So one of those costs you about $300 a month in electricity to operate. You have to have special electrical wiring. The cost is prohibitive in many cases. And so that's why it's so popular at Costco and all these different places where you see these portable wooden cabins to where you can have a far infrared sauna in your home. Now with the advent of you know, figuring out that people have electromagnetic frequency uh, sensitivities, they found that a lot of those heaters are you know, blasting our bodies with EMF. So Dr. McCullough has developed a sauna that has low EMF. You can spend about $4,000 and have a safe sauna cabin experience. And so when I learned about near infrared and how it's low EMF, if you put a meter on the bulb or right by the bulb, you're going to get two milligauss. So a lot of people that had EMF sensitivities could tolerate using the near infrared bulbs. The other thing, it's not just a sauna. It's simultaneous heat stress with phototherapy. Your cells biologically react to sunlight, which contains about 30% near infrared. And studies have found that near infrared actually causes your cells, the mitochondria, to produce more energy, higher amounts of ATP. It actually increases nitric oxides. So you're going to have dilation and, and more blood going to the muscles. Hence, when you're doing exercise, you're going to be more flexible. Or even if you aren't exercising and you're sitting there for pain relief or uh, enhanced circulation, you're going to feel the effects of near infrared. I was a far infrared enthusiast taking daily saunas. And I thought Dr. Wilson was a little prejudiced. And so when I took a trip and got myself a near infrared sauna, after day three, I felt such an energetic well-being feeling over my body that I never took a far infrared sense. And I came up with a portable near infrared sauna system that you can use that's totally non-toxic. So there's been this total evolution and I wanted to add ion therapy back into the sauna experience. So we've produced the Breathe Safe. You can see it in the corner. It's actually running on an external battery pack. It'll run on that for seven days straight. But you can take it anywhere. It just doesn't double your sweat volume in a sauna. But you can, it, it gets rid of volatile organic compounds and bacteria and particulates and everything like that. But that's one of the things that we use with our sauna therapy. Studies have shown that if you'll inhale 20,000 ions per cubic centimeter, your sweat volume will double, your core body temperature goes up, your rectal temperature will even raise after you're outside the sauna session. This measured in labs in, our, in uh, our other sauna tent enclosure, you'll inhale 56,000 ions per cubic centimeter, so nearly three times the ions. So near infrared has come a long way. We also wanted something that was green. If your hair dryer will run on an outlet, you can run the sauna fix there. And so no preheat is necessary. We have a radiant 
tent enclosure. You know, after all, light travels at the speed of light, right? So I came up with a way to keep the healing phototherapy rays inside the enclosure with you. We just don't have the external panel here for demonstration purposes, but the temperature, internal temperature of the tent rises. You don't even need to preheat it. So you don't have to waste the electricity to preheat it. You just jump in there and take your sauna session. So there, uh, there are tons of benefits to sauna therapy. And now with the exercise studio, they'll be speaking about the benefits that it's uh, given them. Now there was a study uh, with 40 women, 20 of them were riding a stationary bicycle without near infrared shining on them, and then 20 were. And the, the participants that had near infrared shining on them lost 444% more fat. So near infrared is very, very special to the body. One of the other benefits of near infrared over every other kind of sauna is blood shunting. So in the enclosure, Cody's going to demonstrate inserting the partition. So when you're done doing your exercise and you really want to sweat in a sauna, you'll be able to do that. And what happens is it's a weird phenomenon when you first take a near infrared sauna because your body begins sweating on one side of the body because your body is shunting blood to vasculate your tissues so that water can escape from your bloodstream to form sweat to cool you down so then you wipe that down then you just turn 180 degrees in the opposite direction and voila, the body works vigorously again to do that because the ambient air temperature is not really hot. How many people do you know that don't like saunas because it's too hot, it's hard for them to breathe? So that solves this problem and you get super circulation effect. And so uh, I'd like to have uh, Jen tell you about how near infrared has affected yoga. Hi, you guys. Um, I'm Jen with Yoga Digest. And thank you, Eileen, for having Cody and I, my partner, out. Um, we got one of these, I don't know, earlier this year. And um, Cody's always enjoyed sitting in the sauna <laughs> and sweating, but has done some uh, movement and anyways got one of these and I tried it out and the first thing I wanted to do was practice yoga in it and it's awesome it's like having your own personal hot yoga studio right in your house uh, the thing about um, yoga is there's a lot of people that are just really intimidated to try it because um, there's so many different kinds of yoga and even those who do practice yoga regularly have a hard time fitting it in with all the other things they need to get done. So the thing I love it about this is um, I'm actually a yoga teacher. Uh, so practicing yoga is a big part of my life, but even for somebody like me, it's challenging to find the time to get into class. Uh, so because of the heat mechanisms and all the science that Eileen just filled you in on, which is amazing, um, 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes max is, is about all I do. And I get to a, a pretty full practice from start to finish. Um, it'll get your heart rate up, which is great, but it also gives you the calming benefits of yoga uh, because you don't, it's not like you're in there doing sprints or jumping jacks. I mean, you're really doing just kind of what you saw me doing before, breathing and doing lunges and going through the sun salutations. Um, so it's really good. People will ask why do yoga in a hot room? There's a few answers to that. One is yoga um, was born 5,000, 10,000 years ago in India, where it typically is a pretty hot desert. And um, it's through these ancient teachings we learned about the benefits of yoga. And the benefits were so great because of the heat and detox and flush that they were experiencing. So that's why a lot of yoga studios do teach hot yoga and um, offer it to as, as one of their options to their participants. 
Um, and then the other thing is just the sweat. I mean, you um, getting the sweat going helps to release and flush uh, stress, and it helps your blood flow. You talked a little bit about blood flow, and we might be saying the same thing here, but just in different words, is you know when your your body is tight and achy and sore, your your blood and your prana, your breath cannot flow through your body with ease. But the better your body um, can flow blood and breath, the greater release you're going to have from a physical standpoint. Um, so that's why it's a great relief for sore muscles and injuries and injury prevention. But it also creates a really great feeling for uh, your mind. So that's why they call it a mind-body practice. And that's why you'll hear people eventually, if they've been practicing yoga for a while, uh, start to say that, yeah, it was great. I really liked the way it made me feel physically at first. Ultimately, it becomes more of an, emo an emotional practice and even a spiritual uh, benefit because stress starts to leave your body and you just start to feel a lot better. And when you get used to feeling really good, you want to feel that way as much as possible. And so you'll start to see this practice in other places in your life. Uh, it starts to affect the, how you treat people and your relationships in your life. And it also starts to um, affect your relationship with yourself and how you treat yourself and the kind of foods that you put into your body and the way you give back to the world. Um, so it really has opened up a, uh, a whole world uh, for our, our company, our mission that we do at Yoga Digest, and that's to educate people the same way that Eileen is um, trying to educate people on being well and being healthy um, without having to go to the doctor or take a bunch of medications. There's really a lot of other ways um, to, to be healthy. So I think it's a genius in invention, and um, I really, really pleased everybody I talked to about it is just so amazed, and they all want one from Santa this year for Christmas. <laughs> so. Anyways, thanks again for having us out. And thank you, Eileen, for welcoming us. You can find us at GoHealthyNext.com. So we're not going to Pepsi next. We're going to Go Healthy Next. And we've got a lot of <laughs> products that do everything to help us because we breathe every second, we touch things, we eat things. So we have the first line of defense to reduce our accumulation of toxins. Then we have wonderful products to help eliminate the ones we can't avoid.